everyone welcome back to biophilia your all time study mate today we are going to continue with the chapter human reproduction with its sixth part about menstrual cycle if you like our videos and want us to help to reach out many more then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our amazing channel biophilia today we are going to continue this video with the reference to the last video jo aapko description box mein we will get the link and you can go and check that video as well to pichle video mein humne cover kiya tha about the release of the mature female gamete by the process of oogenesis so oogenesis ke end parts mein we had understand that when the ovulation occurs the female gamete is in search of sperm to get fertilized so agar fertilization ho jata hai then there is going to be the process that occurs on the implantation side by any chance agar fertilization nahi hota hai then the progesterone releasing gland that was a temporary endocrine gland that was in the ovary that was corpus luteum wo kuch dino baad is going to degrade so degradation ki wajah se when the progesterone does not get released then the endometrial lining of the uterus is going to shred out to jo shredding hota hai that is going to be because the fertilization does not occur and that leads to the cycle that is menstrual cycle so ye pichle ओ जेनेसिस एंड द रिलेशन विद द मैंस्ट्रल साइकिल इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द लिंक बिटवीन दीज टू सो नाउ लेट्स गेट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट दिस मैंस्ट्रल साइकिल इन डिटेल सो मैंस्ट्रल साइकिल होता क्या है इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ रिप्रोडक्टिव साइकिल विच इज़ गोइंग टू ऑकर इन फीमेल प्राइमेट्स सो फीमेल प्राइमेट्स एग्जाम्पल्स क्या होंगे दीज आर गोइंग टू बी द मंकीस द एप्स द ह्यूमन्स which are going to follow the menstrual cycle jo baki ke hai rest that are those are non primates these are going to undergo the process that is estrus cycle to so, estrus cycle and menstrual cycle are the two types so for human beings or from primates menstrual cycle will be followed so during this menstrual cycle that occurs in primates there are going to be two separate cycles which simultaneously occurs so these are going to involve two locations that is first the uterus will be involved kyunki waha pe endometrial lining mein changes honge and then the ovary will be involved because there the degradation of corpus luteum and the release of female gamete is going to take place so two sites that is uterus and ovary both are going to be involved for the uh, this menstrual cycle so how they are going to be involved first of all when there are hormone controlling the cycles that is during the uterine cycle that occurs in the uterus that is going to release hormones that is estrogen and progesterone so wo generally uterine cycle pe ya uterus pe work karenge which are releasing from the ovary because of the temporary endocrine gland that is corpus luteum ab ovarian cycle jo ovary mein hogi that is going to be controlled because of the hormones that is fsh and lh which are going to be released from the anterior pituitary gland now what are the phases that occurs during the entire uterine cycle so there are going to be three phases that is menstrual phase jahan pe actual shredding of the endometrium will occur then the proliferative phase and the secretory phase whereas if you compare the cycle that occurs in the ovary that is ovarian cycle waha pe bhi three phases honge which will be different from the uterine cycle phases so these are going to be follicular phase ovulatory phase and the luteal phase so inko ek ek karke we have to compare and understand the differences between these phases and the cycles that occurs in this menstrual cycle so let's dig deep into the understanding of this menstrual cycle so here first we need to understand ki menstruation kab begin hogi so the first menstruation that begins at the puberty so puberty is generally during the teen ages which is going to start and that start of the menstruation will be called as menarche so menarche is going to be around 11 to 12 years of age so when the female child is about 11 to 12 years or just entering the teenage she is going to get her first menstruation and that will be termed as menarche now this menarche once it starts the menstruation cycle is going to get repeated at an average interval of 28 to 29 days 
so her cell till the female turns about 50 years so till 50 years this entire circulation or the cycle is going to continue for about 28 to 29 days interval so once the ovum that is the mature female gamete jab release hoga by the process of ovulation then during the mid of the menstrual cycle so about for 14 days so 14 days pay the ovulation will occur when the cycle the menstrual cycle will be for the 28 days so that is going to occur every time every month because month generally 28 29 days so every month this menstrual cycle will occur for the women that are around from 12 to 50 years so after 50 years generally it is observed that the menstrual cycle stops that is there is going to be natural cessation that is natural stopping of the menstrual cycle and that is going to mark the end of fertility so after that the female gamete that is ovum is not going to be released ovulation stop ho jayega and because of that there is no menstruation because corpus luteum form nahi hoga there is no endometrial lining shedding and that marks the end of fertility and all that natural cessation of the menstrual cycle is going to be called as menopause so menopause jo hoga, that will be around after the age of 50 years and that stage will occur for 50 years onwards till the death of that female so jo fertile age hoga, that fertile age going to be between the menarche and the menopause so between menarche and menopause until the menstruation is going on that stage or that phase of the woman is going to be called as fertile stage so jab tak menstruation hai, the female is going to be considered a fertile being. So this was about the reproductive phases of a human female that is starting from menarche, then the menstruation fertile stage and then last that is going to be menopause. Now what are the phases of the menstrual cycle? Menstrual cycle mein there is going to be a menstrual phase, then a follicular phase the ovulation phase and the luteal phase so now these were the you know basic understanding now we have to dig deep into these phases to understand the actual changes that occurs so let's go and understand it in much more detail now this is going to be a table wherein we are going to understand all the phases of the menstrual cycle in detail with the reference to two major cycles that occurs that is the uterine cycle and the ovarian cycle endometrial changes honge that are going to represent the changes in the uterus and the ovarian changes that is going to understand with the changes of ovaries so we have four cycles hai that we need to understand that is the menstrual phase or the bleeding phase proliferative or the follicular phase ovulation and the luteal or secretory phase so during this we are going to understand one by one in detail or your table up help karega to understand and compare each of the phase in detail so ye ek cheez will compile everything to understand all the phases in detail so yaha pe hum dekhenge about menstrual phase which are going to last for about one to five days so first five days of the menstrual phase is going to be the bleeding phase so ab ye bleeding kya hai bleeding is going to be nothing but loss of blood so this blood is going to get released from the endometrial lining so endometrial lining jo develop hui thi to get the implantation but since the fertilization did not occur now there is no implantation so jo endometrial lining develop hui thi now it is going to get reduced in thickness kyunki bleeding hoga and that bleeding is going to be responsible for reduction in thickness and that reduction of thickness is going to be about from 6 mm to 1 mm so ye jo decrease hua hai that is going to you know be the possible chance that there is going to be about 30 to 50 ml of blood loss along with endometrial tissue jo form hua tha to get the you know fertilization implantation hoga but now along with this the secondary oocyte that did not get fertilized of the previous cycle that is also going to get released so why the previous cycle is going to be considered for the oocyte because the menstrual cycle is going to be considered the first day of first day bleeding hoga but the secondary oocyte is going to be coming from the previous cycle of the oogenesis so oogenesis mein jab ovulation hua at that time the fertilization did not occur 
and after the fertilization did not occur the menstrual cycle began so that was the reason that we considered the secondary oocyte to be coming from the previous cycle of the oogenesis now why this actually reduction of thickness and the loss of you know endometrial lining all that occurs so it is going to be because of the lack of progesterone so the temporary endocrine gland tha, that was corpus luteum that was releasing a large amount of progesterone so jab tak progesterone release ho raha tha till that time the maintenance of the endometrial lining was possible so once the progesterone levels decreased because of the degradation of the corpus luteum now this shredding of the endometrial lining occurs and that shredding is going to be the cause for the bleeding that occurs in the first 5 days ab ye to tha about the endometrial lining but now what changes occurs in the ovary so ovary mein changes honge that is going to be because of the fsh hormone that is follicular hormone uh, follicular stimulating hormone so this hormone is going to start developing or stimulating the another ovarian follicles which is going to develop because of the inhibition of the progesterone so progesterone decrease hua tha because of the degradation of the corpus luteum and now the fsh will start working on the new ovarian follicles that are going to be the next phase for the next oogenesis so next oogenesis pe the body will not stop you know producing the secondary oocytes ke ek bar fertilization nahi hua now we will stop there is no chance ahead no the body is not going to keep on crying on it it will give another chance again the fsh will stimulate for the next release of ovulation but for that the fsh will stimulate the ovarian follicles but you know uh, this menstrual phase or bleeding is going to be considered you know people understand it like the body is crying over the loss of one oocyte because you know uh, as you know from the previous video ki at the maturity there are only 60000 to 80000 of uh, you know primary follicles that are going to be left out so itne kam follicles hai and each time only few of them get a chance to get developed into the final secondary oocyte so uski wajah se since there are less chances for you know uh, fertilization once there is going to be uh, you know lack of fertilization that means the endometrial lining sheds so it is considered that the body is crying over the loss of one secondary oocyte so you know philosophically or literature wise you consider the menstrual phase or the bleeding phase that wise that the body is crying blood over the loss of secondary oocyte but still it will not stop producing wo ovarian changes mein fir ek bar fsh ki release ki wajah se the new secondary oocyte is going to be start producing ab ye tha first phase what is the second phase that is going to be proliferative or the follicular phase so during this phase what is going to occur that is from the 6th to the 13th day so during this phase the endometrial changes are going to be gradually increasing so ek bar reduction hua during the menstrual phase but now since during the ovarian changes usme fir ek bar ovarian uh, follicles ko develop karna shuru kiya hai so now during the next phase the endometrium is also going to get over it and now it will start again to increase its thickness so that once the secondary oocyte is again released it is ready to uh, you know receive the fertilized egg so fertilized egg ko receive karne ke liye during the 6 to 13th day the endometrium is increasing in thickness wo fir se tissue ya muscles grow karna shuru karega again there is going to be you know large amount of blood vessels that will be formed during that phase and now the endometrium from 1 mm it will grow up to 5 mm so ab wo jab growth hogi it is ready to receive the fertilized egg now in the ovaries सिंस वो पिछली बार ओवेरियन फॉलिकल्स को स्टिम्युलेट किया था नाउ अप टिल दैट टाइम ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट फाइव डेज द आफ्टर स्टिम्युलेशन प्राइमरी फॉलिकल से लेकर ग्राफियन 
कल तक का सफर उसने तय कर लिया है सो एट द एंड ऑफ अराउंड थर्टीन डे द ग्राफियन फॉलिकल इज रेडी सो प्राइमरी फॉलिकल ग्राफियन फॉलिकल क्या है ऑल इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट वी हैव स्टडीड दैट वॉज अबाउट द ऊ जेनेसिस सो लिंक विल बी प्रोवाइडेड डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो यू कैन गो एंड अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दिस इन डिटेल so that you do not get confused about the you know changes and the development that occurs of the ovarian follicles so ab jab ye ovary mein development ho gaya hai of the graafian follicle that is going to mark the end of the follicular phase now about the next that is ovulation so ovulation is going to occur at the 14th day now there is a very important point that you need to remember that is whenever there is a cycle of 28 days so 28 days ki agar cycle pakde that is you know uh, general cycle length so if it is a general cycle length that is of 28 days so ovulation will occur at the mid of it that is on the 14th day but agar by any chance the cycle is not of 28 days if it changes then what is going to occur the cycle is going to extend for more than 28 days so it might be 29 30 31 it depends so what is going to change the proliferative or the follicular phase is going to change if the cycle length increases so you can write it down but we'll also see that in detail in the you know few minutes of this video so jab bhi agar cycle length change hoti hai so you can note it down over here if cycle length changes then what is going to be changed or what is going to be altered if cycle length changes then your previous cycle that was your follicular or your proliferative there are two names depending upon where it is occurring so proliferative or your follicular phase is going to be altered so it is going to increase or decrease depending upon the changes on the 28 days cycle so 28 days hai that is the reason it is occurring on 14th day but agar cycle length change ho jaye that if it is becoming 27 or 29 then the ovulation date will change so that is the reason to understand that is important ki agar 28 days ki cycle hai then the ovulation occurs at 14 if it changes then there are going to be changes that will understand in a few minutes so about here endometrial changes to honge nahi so i'll erase it out so that you don't get confused so ovarian cycle mein changes honge ovarian changes honge because ovulation occurs in the ovary so there is no change or no you know differences that occurs in the endometrium so endometrial changes to kuch nahi honge during the ovulation but ovary is going to change what is going to change the graafian follicle is going to rupture and it will release the secondary oocyte now why the rupture occurs the rupture is going to occur because the lh hormone that is luteinizing hormone is going to get at its peak and that peak is achieved because of the estrogen peak so estrogen release hoga lh increase hoga and that is going to be responsible for the release or rupture of the graafian follicle so that marks the ovulation now very important point that you need to understand about ovulation and the previous cycle that is that ovulation is going to be considered as the shortest phase so ovulation ek hi din ka hai that is 14th day so it is going to be considered the shortest phase the next phase that we are studying that is luteal or the secretory phase that is going to be considered as the longest phase so that is to be understood ki sabse chhota kon hai that is going to be your ovulation phase and the longest that is the luteal or the secretory phase so that is going to last from the 15th to the 28th day or the last day of the cycle length and over here jo endometrial changes honge that is going to be becoming you know secretory phase because as the name that is secretory phase in this the endometrium lining is going to be becoming you know releasing hormones so us time pe wo act karegi as a gland and it will release its own progesterone to maintain its thickness so until wo you know as soon as the ovulation occurs that is not going to undergo fertilization it will take some time 
so during that time to maintain the achieved thickness during the proliferative phase us time the wo khud apne aap se secrete karega the progesterone hormone and it will maintain its thickness so the thickness maintain karega and it acts like a gland to release progesterone that gives it name that is the secretory phase now during the ovarian cycle what is going to occur there are going to be changes ki ek bar jaise we studied in the previous video that is once the ovulation occurs there is going to be degradation and formation of the corpus luteum so corpus luteum is going to be formed or wo degrade ho jayega in about 7 to 10 days so 7 to 10 days tak to wo progesterone release karega but that release is going to be in the effect of एलएच सो एलएच जब तक है टिल दैट टाइम द कॉर्पस लूटियम इज गोइंग टू स्टे बट लेटर ऑन इट विल गेट डिग्रेडेड एंड एज यू नो फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस साइकिल दैट वी ऑप्टेन द कॉर्पस एलबिकन्स दैट इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर्म आफ्टर द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ कॉर्पस लूटियम सो दैट वॉज अबाउट वन फेज ऑफ द साइकल्स जहाँ पे हमने दो पैरामीटर्स कंसिडर किए दैट इज द इंडोमेटेरियल चेंजेस एंड द ओवेरियन चेंजेस नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द अदर objects that you need to understand with the reference of these phases now over here in this table we are going to understand the changes that occurs during the phases with the reference to the hormones so pichli bar humne dekha tha in the table that we studied about the changes that occurs in the uterus or the ovary now ab ye changes jo ho rahe hai uske sath sath there are going to be changes in the hormonal levels so there are going to be three major hormones that is estrogen then the progesterone and the gonadotrophin that includes fsh and lh so in hormones ki wajah se jaise wo increase decrease or whatever happens with them that is going to be responsible for the changes in the cycles so first undergoing the detailed understanding for the menstrual or the bleeding phase so during this phase about the estrogen estrogen is going to be low and why is it going to be low because the graafian follicle is still not formed so jab tak graafian follicle form nahi hoga till that time the estrogen levels are going to be low and about progesterone again these progesterone levels are also going to be low because still it is you know under the menstrual or the bleeding phase or bleeding phase kyu tha because the progesterone levels were low since the corpus luteum degraded progesterone levels decreased and progesterone levels decrease ho gaya then the bleeding phase occurred about gonadotrophin hormones that is fsh or lh these are also going to be low but gradually they are going to increase because now the ovaries are going to start to stimulate the rest of the ovarian follicles so dheere dheere ye jo low levels pe the that is fsh and lh at the low levels now they will gradually start to increase to stimulate the ovarian follicles now because of the reduction of the inhibition that is progesterone progesterone jaise release कम हुआ फ्रॉम द कॉर्पस लूटियम द यू नो इफेक्ट ऑफ एफ एस एच एंड एल एच ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीज टू यू नो स्टार्ट द स्टिम्यूलेशन ऑफ द ओवेरियन फॉलिकल्स नाउ अबाउट द प्रोलिफ्रेटिव और द फॉलिकुलर फेज ड्यूरिंग दीज फेजेज द इस्ट्रोजन लेवल्स विल ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीज एंड दिस ग्रेजुअल इंक्रीज इज गोइंग टू अटेन इट्स फर्स्ट पीक और ये फर्स्ट पीक कब होगा फर्स्ट पीक ऑफ इस्ट्रोजन विल बी ऑकरिंग जस्ट बिफोर द ओव्यूलेशन वाई जस्ट बिफोर द ओव्यूलेशन बिकॉज ओव्यूलेशन के पहले जब ईस्ट्रोजन ग्रो करेगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मोर रिलीज ऑफ एल एच सो एल एच इंक्रीज जब होगा देन एंड देन ओनली द ओव्यूलेशन विल ऑकर सो जस्ट बिफोर द ओव्यूलेशन द ईस्ट्रोजन लेवल्स विल अटेन इट्स फर्स्ट पीक तो ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम ईस्ट्रोजन अगर इंक्रीज हो रहा है अटेनिंग इट्स फर्स्ट पीक बट प्रोजेस्टरॉन लेवल्स आर गोइंग टू बी स्टिल लो बिकॉज प्रोजेस्टरॉन स्टार्ट कब से होगा रिलीज दैट इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉर्पस लूटियम सो अभी भी ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोलिफ्रेटिव और पॉलिकुलर फेज स्टिल द प्रोजेस्टरॉन लेवल्स आर गोइंग टू बी लो about fsh and lh now as the follicular stage is going to start wo dheere dheere develop karna shuru karega and development we saw in detail in the oogenesis so all that oogenesis that occurs that is the gradual development of the follicles that is going to be responsible that is increase in levels of lh and 
एफ एस एच सो जैसे एफ एस एच रिलीज होगा द फॉलिकल्स विल बी डेवलपिंग एंड स्लोली एंड स्टेडिली द ओवुलेशन इज गोइंग टू बी नियरर सो द एल एच लेवल्स आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीजिंग नाउ आफ्टर दिस फेज द ओव्यूलेशन फेज ऑकर्स जहाँ पे ईस्ट्रोजेन का देर इज नो सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन ओव्यूलेशन बट स्टिल द प्रोजेस्टर ऑन लेवल्स आर लो बिकॉज देर इज गोइंग टू बी द रिलीज ऑफ प्रोजेस्टर ऑन आफ्टर द कॉर्पस लोटियम फॉर्मेशन बट नाउ हियर देर इज अ मेन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल ऑफ द एफ एस एच एंड एल एच नाउ ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम वेन द ओव्यूलेशन विल ऑकर द एल एच इज गोइंग टू जस्ट अटेन इज हाइएस्ट पीक so that is called as LH surge. so whenever LH surge occurs, वो LH surge सर्च की वजह से द ओव्यूलेशन इज गोइंग टू अकर सो वंस द एल एच अटेन्स इट पीक्स बिकॉज जस्ट इन द प्रीवियस फेज वी सॉ दैट द ईस्ट्रोजन पीक्स जस्ट बिफोर द ओव्यूलेशन सो जैसे पहले ईस्ट्रोजन पीक लेगा ड्यूरिंग द नेक्स्ट डे ड्यूरिंग ओव्यूलेशन the lh is going to come at its peak that is the lh surge so as the lh surge occurs ovulation that is release of the secondary oocyte is going to occur but during that time even the fsh is going to attain at its peak because after the uh, ovulation the rest of the graafian follicle needs to be converted so during that time also the fsh is going to attain its peak so ovulation ke time pe two hormones will have their peak that is lh and FSH. Now the next phase, that is luteal or the secretory phase. During this time, the estrogen levels will start to go down, and gradually again they will come back to form the second peak. So, as the proliferative or the follicular phase is completed, during that time the first peak was attained. So during this first peak mila for the estrogen. Now during the ovulation, the 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 come होना शुरू किया luteal phase तक इट has gone to the low levels. But now धीरे धीरे again the estrogen levels will gradually increase and form to its second peak. So this is very important that estrogen levels are going to attain two peaks. So this is a very important question that occurs that which of the particular hormone attains two peaks. So during the cycles. the estrogen is going to be responsible for attaining two peaks jabki jo lh hoga lh will only attain one peak that is during the ovulation phase but two peak for estrogen that is just before the ovulation and during the luteal or the secreting phase now about progesterone since the ovulation has occurred corpus luteum formation ho chuka hai because of that since the corpus luteum will be secreting progesterone the levels of progesterone will gradually increase and now about the fsh or lh these levels are going to get reduced it will start to you know decrease in levels and why because fsh and lh will be not effective during the progesterone release तो जैसे ही प्रोजेस्टर ऑन रिलीज स्टार्ट हुआ है फ्रॉम द कॉर्पस लूटियम द इफेक्ट और द सिक्रीशन ऑफ एफ एस एच एंड एल एच इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज सो वेन द इनिबिशन ऑफ प्रोजेस्टर ऑन ऑकर दैट इज ड्यूरिंग द मैंस्ट्रोल फेज ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम द एफ एस एच एंड एल एच लेवल्स आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीज सो दिस इज यू नो काउंटर बैलेंस कि जब अगर प्रोजेस्टर ऑन लेवल्स इंक्रीज हो रहे हैं एफ एस एच एंड एल एच लेवल्स आर गोइंग टू decrease and vice versa will occur during the next phase that occurs and continues the menstrual cycle so that was about the point that needed to be discussed with the reference to the four phases that occurs in the ovary and the uterus simultaneously so i hope this tabular format gave you a understanding to compare the changes that occurs and this would help you to understand the menstrual cycle in a much more easy way so here is a very important diagram from your ncert book which is going to be a bit difficult to understand but since we have understood the entire cycle from the tabular format now this cycle will be easy for you to understand with the reference of the graphs that are shown to you so yahan pe the first graph is showing about the pituitary hormone levels so hormone levels these are going to be considered for the four phases that is during the menstrual phase during the proliferative or the follicular phase the third that will be the luteal and next that is going to be the formation of the next cycle 
सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द चेंजेस वो चेंजेस ग्राफ के फॉर्मेट में दिखाए गए हैं सो फॉर द फर्स्ट फाइव डेज एज वी सॉ दैट देर इज गोइंग टू बी मैंस्ट्रुएशन और द ब्लीडिंग पेज देन द नेक्स्ट डेज दैट आर शोन दैट इज फ्रॉम द सिक्स डे टू द थर्टीन डे फॉर द साइकिल ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट डेज देर इज गोइंग टू बी फॉलिकुलर फेज फोर्टीन डे पे देर इज गोइंग टू बी मैंस्ट्रुएशन दैट इज सॉरी ओव्यूलेशन विल ओकर एंड फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन डे टिल द एंड ऑफ योर साइकिल there is going to be the luteal or the secretory phase so that is the lower line or the x axis that is showing the days of the cycle so on this particular axis there are going to be different parameters so first that is pituitary hormone levels so pituitary gland say anterior say there are two hormones released that is fsh and lh so during the menstruation phase as we saw ki progesterone levels high hote hai because of the you know dheere dheere uh, the corpus luteum is going to get degraded progesterone levels low pe jayenge because of that there is going to be gradual increase of fsh and lh levels so dheere dheere from the menstruation phase slowly and steadily the lh hormone will start to increase fsh will get gradual first it will decrease but now it will increase and up till the ovulation phase the lh is going to come at its surge so this peak is going to be called as lh surge and during that time even the fsh hormone comes to a peak of its you know graph but still it is not as high as the lh hormone so lh surge jab bhi hoga you can relate that after the lh surge the ovulation is going to occur and after the lh surge slowly and steadily the both hormones that is lh and fsh will start to gradually decrease because of the increase of progesterone hormone now ovarian events mein as we saw that menstruation phase mein from the previous cycle the oocyte has been released but now there is going to be stimulation of the new ovarian follicles so dheere dheere there is going to be development of the follicles mature follicle form ho jayega during the follicular phase and at the 14th day when the lh comes to a surge there is going to be ovulation occurring and after the ovulation remaining part of the graphian follicle is going to form the corpus luteum corpus luteum they say develop hoga that is the luteal phase and it will start secreting progesterone so progesterone secrete start hoga so that can also be seen in the ovarian hormone levels so you know simultaneously you can go through the below graph that is jaise hi corpus luteum develop hua hai slowly and steadily the progesterone levels has also increased in its graph so corpus luteum secreting progesterone progesterone levels high gaye and as the degradation or the re regression of the corpus luteum occurs now there is going to be decrease of the progesterone levels so graph and the ovarian events needed to be understand simultaneously so uh, now we'll see about the uh, ovarian hormones so ovarian hormones mein do hai that is progesterone and estrogen till the time of follicular phase estrogen or progesterone they will start to gradually increase just before the ovulation that is on the 14th day so this black line is going to signify the ovulation phase so during you know ovulation uske pehle the estrogen is going to attain its peak so that we have covered in the tabular format ki estrogen ovulation ke pehle peak form karegi and after the peak it will slowly decrease so you can see the depression on the graph so estrogen goes to the low levels and then it will form the second peak so from this graph also you can understand that this was your peak number 1 that occurred before the ovulation and after gradual decrease there is going to be the second peak for the estrogen now jab luteal phase aaya corpus luteum form hua progesterone level increase after the regression progesterone levels decrease so that is going to be signified by this line of progesterone now the uterine events menstruation phase mein bleeding phase mein menses hua that is the you know bleeding phase blood and the uterine tissues all that is going to be shredded out up till almost 5 days after 5 days slowly and steadily the thickness is going to increase 
so thickness will increase up to 5 or 6 millimeters so dheere dheere you can see over here that the vascularity is going to increase wo tissues jo hai that is going to build up so this level you can understand that there is going to be increase in the uterine lining thickness and after the thickness increases up till the secretory phase so during that time now it is going to act like a gland and it will also release progesterone so that it is going to maintain its thickness so progesterone uski wajah se bhi peak pe jayega that is releasing from the corpus luteum as well as the uterine lining that is acting as a gland during the secretory phase so during that time also there is going to be a high thickness of the uterine lining but as soon as it is confirmed that the uh, fertilization did not occur and the secondary oocyte is again unfertilized and coming near the uterus since it is not fertilized again the next cycle is going to begin that is again the menstruation the bleeding phase will occur after the 28 days so again this particular cycle was with consideration for cycle length of 28 days so because of that the ovulation humne dekha, that was occurring at the uh, 14th day but now let's understand about what can be the changes that can occur if the cycle length is not of 28 days. So here is one question that I had to discuss with you. That is if a woman does not have her cycle of 28 days but if it increases or decreases in its length. For example if we consider that the cycle length of the woman is been for 30 days. If 30 days hai, so then what is going to be her probability to ovulate on what day will she ovulate. So over here if you expect from the previous knowledge so abhi tak jo humne video mein cover kiya that was with the reference to 28 day cycle. So 28 day cycle ke hisaab se you will understand that the ovulation will occur at the 14th day. So that is what you will expect. But now what is going to be the reality since the cycle length has been changed from 28 days to 30 days. Now the day of ovulation is going to be changed. So day of ovulation kya ho jayega? To calculate that you need to understand by a simple mathematical formula that is day of ovulation will be equal to cycle length minus 14. So for here if you need to calculate what is your cycle length it is for the 30 days. 30 minus 14 is going to give you what? It is going to be a 16th day. So 16th day your ovulation will occur. So as per the cycle length of 30 days the ovulation will occur at the 16th day. So instead of 14 as per 30 days it will occur at 16th day. So ye galti nahi karni hai agar cycle length change kar diya jai in the question. You will not tick the ovulation day for 14 but you will calculate by this formula that is cycle length minus 14 and this will give you the 16th day. Now over here we need to understand that there are going to be four phases that is starting from the menstrual phase, proliferative phase, ovulation phase and the luteal phase. Now ye cycles mein jo humne days discuss kiye te, that was with the reference to the 28 day cycle but over here we need to understand that the cycle length change ho jayegi, what is going to change in the days or the length of these particular cycle phases. So first of all you need to understand that menstrual phase is going to be fixed that is it will be for about 1 to 5 days. So that is the fixed whether the cycle length changes or remains as 28 days but menstruation phase is generally for 1 to 5 days. Again this is just a general average days that are calculated. Now for the proliferative or the follicular phase as per your you know 28 days cycle it was occurring from the 16th to the 13th day. So 6 to 13 was the time for your normal 28 day cycle but since the cycle changed from 28 to 13 now it will be from the 6th day to the 15th day. So, now what happened? Like previously it was from 6 to 13 days that was 8 days but now this phase has been changed from 8 days to 10 days. 
सो ये जो चेंज आया दिस चेंज इज गोइंग टू बी नथिंग बट द सिग्निफिकेंस दैट द साइकिल लेंथ दैट इंक्रीजेस साइकिल लेंथ अगर इंक्रीज करती है फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी एट डेज दैन दैट मीन्स द प्रोलिफ्रेटिव और द पॉलिकुलर फेज इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीजिंग सो सिंस इट वॉज एट डेज प्रीवियसली सो एज पर नॉर्मल ट्वेंटी एट डेज इट इज एट डेज बट इफ द साइकिल लेंथ इंक्रीजेस प्रोलिफ्रेटिव और पॉलिकुलर फेज इंक्रीजेस एज पर द डेज इंक्रीजेस अगर साइकिल लेंथ कम हो जाती है देन दिस पर्टिकुलर फेज विल डिक्रीज एंड वाई डज इट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द फीमेल दैट हाउ लॉन्ग डज शी टेक टू यू नो एक्चुअली डेवलप द पर्टिकुलर फॉलिकल सो अगर फॉलिकल डेवलपमेंट में या द एंडोमेट्रियल लाइनिंग टू कम टू इट्स पीक इफ इट टेक्स टाइम देन दैट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज अर साइकिल लेंथ बट एज पर जनरल इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर ट्वेंटी एट डेज इट विल ऑकर इन एट डेज बट अगर कोई भी एक्सटर्नल चेंजेस है दैट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द साइकिल लेंथ so because of the cycle length alters because of this phase that is also going to occur the ov- uh, ovulation so ovulation for 30 days cycle will be at the 16th day so 15th day tak ye cycle chali now ovulation phase will occur at the 16th and from the 17th day to the 30th day that is the last day of the cycle length till that time the luteal or the secreting phase will be अवेलेबल सो प्रीवियसली वो फिफ्टीन से ट्वेंटी एथ डे तक था बट नाउ इट विल बी चेंज फ्रॉम द सेवेंटीन टू द थर्टी एथ डे सो लाइक वाइज जैसे साइकिल चेंज होगी वैसे डेज चेंज होंगे बट स्टिल द मैंस्ट्रल फेज इज गोइंग टू बी फिक्स दैट इज फॉर द फर्स्ट फाइव डेज सो हियर इज अ लिटिल टेबल दैट कैन हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड कि जैसे साइकिल लेंथ डिक्रीज होगी the ovulation days is going to be lesser it will come previously so agar 28 days ki cycle hai the ovulation occurs at the 14th day but agar cycle length kam ho rahi hai if it becomes 22 days 23 days वैसे respectively 8th ya 9th day pe bhi ovulation ho sakta hai but if it increases it if it goes beyond 28 days to 14th day se zyada day pe ovulation hoga that is 15th 16th or 17th depends on the cycle length so this is cycle length kam hai proliferative phase shorter hai and development of the follicle is faster but agar cycle length zyada hai that means the changes that occurs in the proliferative phase that will be slower development slow hogi and because of that the proliferative phase is going to be longer that increases the cycle length so i hope with this particular explanation you are able to solve the questions ki agar cycle length change kar di jaye from 28 days to maybe 30 days or if it will be changed to 22 days still you will be able to answer that what day will the woman ovulate और ओवुलेशन डेट चेंज होने की वजह से हाउ द रेस्ट ऑफ द फेजेस डेज चेंजेस दैट इज आल्सो बीन एक्सप्लेन ओवर हियर सो ओवर हियर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द हार्मोनल कंट्रोल सो ये जो मेंस्ट्रुअल फेज है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी यू नो प्रोसेस दैट इन्वॉल्व्स अ लॉट ऑफ हार्मोन्स सो हाउ दीज हार्मोन्स आर गोइंग टू बी कंट्रोल इन योर बॉडी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ हाइपोथैलामस दैट इज मास्टर ऑफ द मास्टर ग्लैंड सो हाइपोथैलामस इज गोइंग टू रिलीज जी एन आर एच द जी एन आर एच दैट इज गोनाडो ट्रॉपिंग रिलीजिंग हॉर्मोन विल बी रिलीज एंड दिस विल स्टिमुलेट द एंटीरियर पिट्यूटरी एंटीरियर पिट्यूटरी जैसे ही स्टिमुलेट होगी देर आर गोइंग टू बी रिलीज ऑफ टू हॉर्मोन्स दैट इज एफ एस एच एंड एल एच एफ एस एच और एल एच रिलीज होने से द एफ एस एच इज गोइंग टू एक्ट ऑन द ग्रैनुलोसा सेल्स सो ग्रैनुलोसा सेल्स दैट वर कवरिंग द ऊ साइड दीज आर गोइंग टू इंक्रीज और वो फॉलिकल को इंक्रीज करेगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द फॉलिकल्स सो प्राइमरी फॉलिकल से सेकेंडरी फॉलिकल सेकेंडरी टू टर्शरी टर्शरी टू ग्राफियन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी विद द इफेक्ट ऑन द एफ एस एच एल एच जो होगा इट इज गोइंग टू एक्ट ऑन द थीका सेल्स एंड एफ एस एल एच एक्टिंग ऑन द थीका सेल्स इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो एल एच इंक्रीजिंग द ओवलेशन विल स्टार्ट सो एफ एस एच जो ग्रैनुलोसा सेल्स पे एक्ट कर रहा था दैट इज गोइंग टू फंक्शन फॉर द टू थिंग्स दैट इज फैसिलिटेड ओ जेनेसिस बिकॉज द the development of the follicles will be because of the fsh hormone and also it will be responsible for the secretion of estrogen so fsh ki presence may be estrogen is going to be released 
for the LH there are going to be androgens released from the theca cells and androgen for here is going to be what it is going to be the progesterone so progesterone will be released for the uh, females so this progesterone is going to be you know acting on the estrogen and this estrogen is going to be differentiated on the basis the estrogen levels low hai ya high hai if these levels are low then there will be negative feedback for lh yani lh ke liye negative feedback jayega ki you uh, you know stop producing progesterone and if it is high levels of estrogen there there will be a positive feedback for lh that is to release more and more progesterone so there should be a counter balance that all the hormones maintain their लेवल्स इन द ब्लड सो अगर ईस्ट्रोजन लेवल्स ज़्यादा हो जाते हैं टू मेक दैट ग्रेजुअल डिक्रीज इन द क्राफ द नेगेटिव फीडबैक फॉर एल एच विल गो दैट इज टू यू नो स्टॉप और लिटिल बिट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्रोजेस्टेरॉन बट अगर लेवल्स हाई है ईस्ट्रोजन के बहुत ज़्यादा हो चुके हैं देन द पॉजिटिव फीडबैक दैट इज टू रिलीज प्रोजेस्टेरॉन बिकॉज एज वी सॉ कि प्रोजेस्टेरॉन लेवल्स अगर इंक्रीज होते हैं द ईस्ट्रोजन लेवल्स आर गोइंग टू डिक्रीज सो दैट इज द रेफरेंस दैट इज पॉजिटिव और द नेगेटिव फीडबैक नाउ ओवर हियर एज देर इज पॉजिटिव फीडबैक फॉर एल एच दैट मीन्स द कॉर्पस लूटियम इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग क्योंकि कॉर्पस लूटियम से देर आर गोइंग टू बी हॉर्मोन्स दैट आर रिलीज दैट इज प्रोजेस्टेरॉन ईस्ट्रोजन इनिबिन एंड रिलैक्सिन सो दीज हॉर्मोन्स दैट आर रिलीज फ्रॉम कॉर्पस लूटियम विल बी इन द रेफरेंस टू द पॉजिटिव फीडबैक फॉर एल एच so over here there is one little hormone that is inhibin so inhibin is going to be the hormone that is going to be giving negative feedback for fsh so very important this is just a counter balance ki jaise estrogen has uh, positive or negative feedback for lh similarly inhibin is going to give negative feedback for fsh so fsh pe kon control karega it will be the inhibin सो अगर इनिबिन रिलीज हो रहा है फ्रॉम द कॉर्पस लूटियम दैट मीन्स देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ चांस फॉर यू नो इम्प्लांटेशन सो इम्प्लांटेशन के टाइम पे यू डोंट नीड टू स्टिम्युलेट अन अदर फॉलिकल्स सो उस टाइम पे फॉलिकुलर ग्रोथ नहीं होगी दैट मीन्स एफ एस एच शुड नॉट बी रिलीज सो कॉर्पस लूटियम अगर स्टे कर जाता है दैट इज इट डज नॉट गेट रिग्रेस्ड अगर इम्प्लांटेशन की पॉसिबिलिटी है देन ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम इनिबिन विल बी रिलीज सो दैट दैट विल प्रोवाइड अ नेगेटिव फीडबैक ऑन एफ एस एच यानी एफ एस एच रिलीज नहीं होगा एंड वंस द एफ एस एच इज नॉट रिलीज देर इज नो इफेक्ट ऑन ग्रैनुलोसा सेल्स वो इंक्रीज नहीं करेगा देन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेकेंडरी फॉलिकल टर्शरी फॉलिकल ऑल दैट विल नॉट ऑफर एंड दैट मीन्स दैट द next cycle of oogenesis will be stopped so that is the little you know uh, connection between the hormones that are going to keep a check on each other so जैसे ईस्ट्रोजन एल एच पे ध्यान रखता है एंड इनिबिन इज गोइंग टू यू नो टेक केयर ऑफ द एफ एच एच एफ एस एच हॉर्मोन लाइक वाइज ईच एंड एवरी वन इज गोइंग टू बी इंटर कनेक्टेड एंड दैट वॉज ईजियर टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस लिटिल फ्लो चार्ट फॉर द हॉर्मोनल कंट्रोल सो विद दिस वी कंप्लीट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंटायर फॉर मैंस्ट्रल साइकिल सो आई होप विद द फॉलिकुलर टेबुलर understand about this topic if you liked this video and if it gave you a lot of more confidence to understand this particular topic then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel like these more concepts will be cleared on this channel just stay connected with biophilia till we come back soon with the next topic on this and even other chapters on our channel till then keep smiling keep studying hard bye bye till then thank you